very extensive test with uh, many cameras, which involved as well Panasonic V35. And V35 just fit in all the, the boxes. The main goal was to shoot at UHD and maintain the whole post-production and production as well to UHD levels. When we arrived uh, probably about 20 weeks ago, it was just completely cavernous space, you know, so we created three terraced houses with the three gardens in the background, which has suited us absolutely perfectly, especially during the winter months when everybody, everybody else is out shooting in the freezing cold we're in this nice cozy studio and it's just it's really contained you know and it, it kind of worked, it worked very well for us you know. Cameras that uh, I, I would have worked with in the past are obviously RED and, and Alexa, Alexa quite often and then an opportunity came up to um, to have a look at the very camp so I went out to 24-7 had a look at that and we just really uh, really impressed with with the results we saw when we were when we were testing you know. So it was down to who could deliver, which camera could deliver the best result in the smallest size possible. And Panasonic was an obvious winner in that case. It's actually got two native ISOs, 800 ASA and also uh, 5000 ASA. Have you tried to push any of the other cameras to 5000? You get a, a serious amount of grain. Whereas it was really, really fabulous to see how, how crisp the 5000 ASA is on the very camp. It was a scene, exterior day we were shooting there recently, we were just out, out in the park and the light started to die quite seriously towards the end of the day. With this camera, I've been able to push it to 5000, it gave us an extra, an extra half hour of, uh, of shooting ability. And uh, if you look at the footage afterwards, it's, it's incredible how crisp it is, you cannot not tell that it's just normal daylight and the only thing that gives it away is the moon up in the up in the sky that is it apart from that it, it looks absolutely perfectly daytime